Hello, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now today, what I'm going to do is to start a new tutorial for a new HVAC equipment, okay? Now, uh, I already started and shared with you my uh, server and my BMS workstation. I am running now my uh, workstation, okay? Now, uh, let me show you what I'm going to do for this tutorial. Now here, uh, uh, this will be my first series for this uh, tutorial. I do hope I can finish it in one tutorial, okay? Now let me show you, let me zoom in my, okay. Now this is my graphics, okay? Now as you can see here, I have uh, cheap water pumps in ETS room, okay? Now ETS room is where the district cooling is providing the chilled water, then the chilled water of the building is uh, being cooled by the district cooling uh, chilled water through the use of an heat exchanger, okay? So this is the one cooling the uh, chilled water of the building, okay? Now district cooling, they will be the one to provide or generate chilled water. All you need to do is just uh, pay them every month based on your consumption, okay? Now in the ETS room, the district cooling, they will put their own system. Maybe they will put their own uh, PLC, okay? To control the uh, flow of chilled water from their system to the heat exchanger of the uh, building, okay? So that is the uh, ETS room, okay? Now here, as you can see here, I have here three pumps, okay? Now, basically, uh, these uh, points, BMS points, as I said, uh, if you are the BMS engineer or you are the BMS engineer of a solution provider company, first you need to study carefully the, uh, the project specification. Now you have to look for the mechanical, electrical specification and look for every occurrence of building management system. Now, building management system is included in the mechanical specification, okay? Now, in the mechanical specification, you will be able to find there the uh, mechanical equipment schedule, okay? Then you will find also there the control schematic diagram. Now, the one of the control schematic diagram, okay? So, I based this BMS point in the control schematic diagram for the tube water pumps, okay? Now, based on that uh, specification, I was be able to come up with this following BMS points. Okay, now let me walk you through with the BMS points. Now, as you see, let's first identify the, <clears throat> what are the uh, devices or the equipment in our graphics. First, we have three pumps, okay? Now I can call this pump as pump one, P2 on P3, okay? Then from the header, supply header, there will be one temperature sensor, okay? That is an immersion type temperature sensor, okay? Then uh, there will be one modulating bulb, okay? There will be one modulating bulb in the main supply line, okay? Going to the load. Then the return, uh, the chilled water return will be uh, sucked again by this pump and it will be delivered again. So it's, it, it's not an ever ending circulation of chilled water, okay? Now here we have also here a DPT uh, or differential pressure transmitter, okay, sensor or a transmitter, DPT trend, uh, DPT, okay. Now it will give us the current differential pressure reading across the supply and return line, okay. Now in some of the, uh, in some of the, what you call this, uh, arrangement of the supply and return, there will be a, uh, bypass line, okay? But since we are not showing here in this specification, they did not show the connection of the district cooling uh, supply and return pipe. So I was not able also to show here, okay? So I'm just showing the differential pressure reading across the supply and return line of my uh, cooling load, okay? Now, maybe someone will ask, what is that load? 
Now, this load for the sake of those new engineers, mechanical or electrical, or those who wants to join this tutorial, or those who wants to join building management system, load here is the uh, equipment, HBAC equipment that needs chilled water for cooling, okay? Like air handling units, uh, different type of air handling units, then fan coil units, okay? Then maybe if you have some, uh, what you call this one, uh, the type uh, package unit that needs uh, chilled water, okay? So the load comprises of all HBS equipment that needs chilled water for cooling, okay? So that is the load. Now, uh, what else that? This is mo this motorized bulb, okay? This is a modulating bulb, okay? Now, based on the uh, temperature or the differential pressure here, we will be able to control the motorized bulb, okay? Now, what are the points for its pump? Basically, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points for each pump, okay? So first, we have the manual or the hand of auto status of the pump. Then we have also the pump one enable, then we have the pump one run status, pump one trip, okay? Then pump one speed reference, then pump one speed feedback, and pump one run hours, okay? Now pump one run hours, this is a software points okay so meaning our control logic program will be the one to generate the run hours of the pump uh, of course it will be based on the uh, run status of the pump okay now as you noticed here there is speed reference now because if there is speed re reference for the pump meaning this pump is controlled by a bfd variable frequency drive okay so our control logic will be the one to give the speed for all the pumps as per the dictate of this differential pressure uh, transmitter okay so meaning if most of our uh, let's say there is a time especially in the middle east that when it is winter our air handling unit uh, will not be needing chilled water to cool the area that they are serving so meaning our motorized bulb will assume, uh, let's say it will go to a closed position or a very small opening just to provide some chilled water circulation, okay? Now, uh, based on the differential pressure transmitter reading, we will be able to control the speed of the pump, okay? So uh, in the Middle East, the frequency is uh, 50 Hertz, okay? But here in my place in Philippines, our frequency is 60 hertz, okay? So VFD will try to play with the frequency in order to uh, play also with the RPM of the pump, okay? So we have the speed reference coming from our uh, direct digital control or from our analog output modules, then speed feedback. Now speed feedback, uh, this one, uh, this uh, point will be coming from the variable of uh, variable frequency drive okay now the variable frequency frequency drive is capable of giving back the speed or speed feedback of the pump okay so we will get the uh, speed feedback from the uh, variable frequency drive okay then as i said run hours our control program will be the one to uh, <coughs> generate this run hours okay so what ever are the points bms points in pump one it will be replicated in pump two and pump three then we have this differential pressure reading then the bulb we have the motorized valve control okay since this is analog then the motorized control valve feedback also or status let's say we give 90 percent opening then we are expecting that the bulb the bulb can give us also feedback status okay now, basically, in my system, I'm using a control signal for analog output 0 to 10 volts. I'm not using a current signal, okay? So I'm using, uh, in my DDC, I'm using uh, 0 to 10 volts. Or volt DC control signal 0 to 10 volts, okay? So as you can see here, this is a very simple uh, arrangement. The pump will supply okay the chilled water will pass through an heat exchanger okay then it will go to the load side then 
from the load, it will go back to the suction side of the primary pumps. Okay. Now it will be a never-ending uh, cycle. Okay. Uh, <coughs> let uh, we'll just uh, stop when uh, maybe it is really winter time and the temperature is very cold. Then maybe we don't need to run or uh, do this. Uh, energy management that we will not run these pumps because this load here is no longer needing chilled water okay so we already defined or prepared our bms graphics then we know also our uh, bms points okay then the next thing you have to do actually i made a guide here let me open this in new window now for the new engineers so bms Points definition from IFC drawing or mechanical specification, as I discussed in the first part of this tutorial. Then digital input and output points, analog input and output points, okay? Analog and output points, okay? Then first we need to define our BMS points, okay? As you can see here, I have here manual of, of, of. So these first few points are digital inputs okay then speed reference speed feedback are analog speed reference is analog output speed feedback is analog input then as i said p1 run hours is a software point okay so, so our physical points here when i say physical point let me uh, repeat it physical points are uh, points bms points that is associated with cable okay so meaning from our uh, DDC uh, IO modules, we will be pulling cable going to the, uh, let's say control panel of these pumps and connect it where we will get the value like this manual, uh, manual of, uh, manual hand of auto and pump enable and run status. Basically these points will come from the motor control uh, motor controller including the trip status then the speed reference and the speed feedback will be coming from the variable frequency run. now the motor control if it is a big motor control for three pumps of course the variable frequency drive will be also installed inside the motor control center for these pumps okay so what will be the next step uh, is bms creation based on IP, okay we have done this now controller and IO module selection, okay. Now uh, based on these points, you should be able to select your controller, okay. Now how many? One, two, three, four. Four times three is 12. So I need 12 digital inputs. So meaning uh, I be needing a controller with 12 digital inputs then for provide some spare, maybe I can say, okay, uh, I need, at least I need a uh, controller with uh, 15 digital inputs, okay? Then two times three is six. Now I need three analog output, okay? Then I need uh, three uh, analog inputs. So, Three analog output, three analog input. Now, since these are all digital, now you can use a universal input module, okay? So meaning uh, you can use a 16, 16, uh, UI 16 IO module, meaning uh, here you need one, two, three plus 12, 15. So you still have one, but it's not good having only one spare because maybe the consultant will not allow it, okay? So at least select, okay, maybe you can select uh, one IO module with uh, 16 uh, universal input, then one analog output combination with universal input, uh, analog output with four uh, analog output, then eight uh, universal input. So total 16 plus eight, you have 24. So that is more than enough to cover the spare points, okay? So the consultant will not uh, complain if you are not going to provide the, um, uh, what you call this, the spare points. Now I forget, 
here the enable is digital output okay so this is not digital input so you need uh, okay so to summarize you need a uh, controller with at least four analog output then four digital outputs then around uh, maybe 16 because this is uh, one, two, three, three times three is nine, plus this three is 12. Okay, so at least you will be needing around 16 universal inputs, okay? So 16 universal inputs, uh, four uh, analog outputs, then four digital outputs. So you will be needing three digital outputs, then you will be having one spare for digital output, then for the analog output, you will be needing three since you are providing four, so you have a spare one. Now in 16 universal input, you will be using actually is one, two, okay, that is uh, three, nine, nine plus three is 12. So you have four uh, spare, so more than enough, okay? So that will be our controller selection. Again, controller selection is four DO, for AO, then 16 universal inputs, okay? So we are done with uh, controller selection. Now, uh, we will do now the uh, actual engineering of this uh, system, okay? So next part, uh, I have my guide here. Then BMS points creation in IO module. Now, since we already know what are the IO modules that we need and the controller so we can uh, if we are going to use the automation server okay so i have here my automation server now at least as i said you have to uh, at least you need a five a four digital output and four analog output okay so let me show you my io bus now io bus uh, for the automation server actually you can connect here around 10 uh, IO modules. Now I have here uh, DO FC8. This one meaning it can handle around eight or it can handle eight digital output uh, points. Okay. Now UI8 A04. Now this one we can use because we will be needing three analog output, then uh, 16. Now I have here UI16. Okay. Now in my automation server, I already created or I already defined for IO module. DOFC8, eight digital outputs, UIAO4. This is a combination uh, combination of analog uh, combination of points. UI universal input eight and analog output four. Then well, I have here also combination of digital output and universal input UI8 and DOFC4. Now I have here UI16. Okay, this is this is purely universal input, but it can accommodate several types of inputs like digital input, counter input, temperature input, voltage input, and other inputs. Okay. Now, uh, so the next step is to okay. Let me open again so that it will be available in the window. So. BMS points creation in IO module. So now we will create the BMS points. So what are the BMS points? Okay. This one should be the one open in new window. Okay. So what are the points that we need to create from our IO module? So I'm showing it to you first. We need to create the end of auto status for the three pumps. Okay. Now let me see whatever I created here. Okay. This one I will open again in new window. So, okay. Now, here almost all of the uh, channel are already um, occupied. So, I think I, we can create it here. Okay. So, as you can see here now, okay, let me show you how I created the IO points. Okay. So, let uh, edit it in spreadsheet. Okay. Now, this is how you are going to create the actual BMS points in the uh, modules or the IO modules. Now here, uh, digital inputs, I created the pump one, 
pump 2 and pump 3 run status. So how are you going to do it? So first, you need to select digital input, okay? Because this is digital input, run status is digital input. It will be an auxiliary contact from the uh, contactor or main contactor of the uh, pump, okay? So since this is uh, connected to BFD, it will be, uh, even the pump is big, there will be no wide delta connection. It will be direct online through BFD, okay? So from the motor control, there will be a contactor there, okay? Now, so from the auxiliary contact of the contactor, I will be getting one normally open contact to be able to, for the use of run status, okay? So how I'm going to create it, select digital input. As I said before, when it is a universal input, there are several input types like counter, current, digital. Now current is when you are getting 4 to 20 milliamps, okay? Counter input, we are using this for uh, like water meter that gives uh, pulse signal, okay? So we can uh, count the pulse so that we can also uh, display the number of gallons being uh, delivered or that passes the water meter, okay? Now, digital input, resistive input, supervised input, temperature input, voltage input. Okay. Now, we will select digital input. Then, in the name, make sure you will provide a name that is unique to each point. Okay. Now, the server or the system will not allow you a, uh, not a unique uh, identifier or name for the points. Okay. Like here, I use P1 run status. Now, you can always... Uh, Put the description. Now, what's the importance of description? Now, description is for the uh, the guy who will be handling the project, okay, or the guy who is who will be responsible in doing the maintenance. Maybe your program will have some problem, or maybe one of the I/O module is faulty. Then he will be able to understand what are these points by looking at the description, okay. Now, module ID, it is not shown here, but the channel, this is the important one, the channel, okay? So, digital input P1 run status is connected to input 2 or channel 2. So, meaning uh, for eight channels, so this is the second uh, channel, okay? So, there will be... Uh, terminal there for channel and the terminal numbering like uh, maybe it will says what is the number of this uh, signal and the common of channel one okay so in pump one running status it will could be connected in uh, channel two or in two input two now what your technician will do from this uh, IO module channel, channel 2, they will pull a cable or our cable to core. Then that cable from DDC will go to the control panel of the pump. Then they will look for the BMS points provision from the uh, uh, panel fabricator. Of course, as I said uh, beforehand, you need to tell the electrical engineer who is responsible for the motor control fabrication that you need the following points. So you, you will say, okay, uh, Mr. Electrical Engineer responsible in fabrication of uh, my control panel here, our control panel for this pump. I need these following points, okay? So you have to give me this one, two, three, four, five, six. So you need to give me six times three, around 18 BMS points provision. So I need to connect Two core cable in a hand of auto status. Uh, I have to connect to uh, two core cable in enable for each pump. Okay, then run status. I need to connect also. Okay, now uh, again uh, I always reiterate that the points, except for the enable, all these monitoring points should be like manual. Uh, this pump hand of auto, run status, and treat. These are both pre-contact or BFC, both pre-contact. 
when it is uh, will be connected with our digital input, it should be both free contact unless you are uh, monitoring uh, voltage input, zero to 10 volts, okay? But for digital inputs, it should be uh, both free contact, okay? So uh, you have to specify to the panel fabricator that you need this much of points, okay? Now they have to provide a terminal block on top of the control panel, then it should be clearly labeled in the drawing that this terminal one and two, four, pump one, hand of auto, then this terminal three and four will be for P1 enable, then this terminal five and, uh, five and six will be for the run status, then terminal seven and eight for the three terminal, uh, nine and 10 will be for the speed reference, then 11 to 12, terminal block 11, 12 for speed, feedback, okay? So they need to provide clearly a drawing that will tell the technician how they are going to connect the BMS points from DDC to the control panel, okay? So let me go back to my BMS points creation. So I have created this, uh, run status, okay? Now, as you can see here, I still have one, two, three, four. I still have four spare for universal input. Now, here in my analog output, uh, in my digital output, uh, okay, since this is already used from my other tutorial, so we will go to the DO, okay? Is it in DO FC8? Let me check. Okay, now we can create the digital output or the enable command of DDC to the pumps. Okay, now I already created pump one stop stop command. Now I will create to show you how it will be created. Now digital output. Okay, so I will have to rename it. As I said, it should be unique. So I will be using SS CMD. Okay, so I will have Okay, let me put description because it is a good engineering practice. Pump one, start, stop, one. Okay, now you can copy this one, control C, so you will not be retyping control B, then just change the one, two, three. Okay, now here, let me copy also here, control B. Okay, so we only have three. Pumps. So this one will be three. Then let me create here digital output. Okay, what will be the name? P3. SS C and D. Okay. So that is how you are going to create the. Uh, let me go out of the way. So you need to save it. Okay, so the changes will take effect. Okay, I will save it. Now, I, I have shown you already that I have created the run status for the three pumps and start stop command for the three pumps. Now, uh, here in my analog output module, combination of UI8 and analog output 4, let me open this. Maybe I already created something here. Okay. Now, I have created here the pump 1 trip pump to trip and pump to trip, okay, digital input. Now, what other points that I need to create? Okay, let me go to my, okay, we are on the, man, uh, the manual, uh, hand of auto, I did not create this, okay, I have not shown you this one. So maybe, let me go back here, maybe it's already here. UI DOX4, let's see if it's already here. Run status, okay, now I will create here the, since I have still several points available here. So again, digital input. Now this one, what is this? This will be P1, HOA, STS. Okay, so let's put some description. Pump one, run of auto status. Okay, then another point I need to create, okay. Now I can copy this, okay, if I don't want to 
But then, okay, I will copy the C. Then I will, okay. now it will become red because there's problem, as I said, it should not be. Okay, wait. I'll change it, okay, pump to the next remove this. Okay, now let me copy this, this one, no problem. Did not give us any problem because this is only description. Just make uh, make sure, uh, be careful in uh, points name, okay? Because it, it, the server or the system will not allow you to create the same uh, DMS points name, okay? Now this one, okay, let me type it. P3 up outer okay, STS. Now, so this one is P3 HOA status. Okay, I still, I still have one here. So pump run and treat and hand up auto. What else do I need to? Okay, I have the trip, I have the run. I have created the enable, then the manual. Now we have to create the speed reference, okay? Now I need here analog output and of course also the speed feedback, okay? Now here, uh, let me go back here, okay? First, let's save this. Now I still, I need around six points. Now let me go to my analog output here. Analog output, let's see. Mm -hmm. I have out oh, oh, now I occupied all this one. Okay. I occupied all this one. Now I have here. Okay. Now I need to here I have two. Okay. Now let me create here the uh, speed feedback. Okay. So I say I will say here voltage input. Then this one for P1 speed FB meaning speed feedback. Okay, so P1 speed feedback. Okay. Now let me create another voltage input. Voltage input. Okay, now here I will P2 speed. Okay, so this will be P2. Okay, P2. Okay, now I still need to create another. Now what I will do, I will add another IO module. Okay, first let, let me save it. Okay, speak. Save. Okay, so always save the changes you are uh, doing. Okay. Now, what I will do here, since I have an analog output eight point, I will uh, new IO module. I will add new IO module. So I'm showing also how you are going to add IO module, okay? Now the IO module that you are going to add, it should be available with you, okay? So because here, uh, actually what I'm doing here, this is a, a live or online system engineering, okay? So I will AOA, okay? So next, okay, what will be the, so I will say seven, okay, create. Okay, I have here now the AOA. Now I'm ready to create the points here. Create the points, okay. Now I need to create the points, okay. So I will create the three, P1, P2, P3 speed reference or our control, okay? So again, this is an voltage output, okay? When we say voltage output, our IO module will be the one to give the... So our uh, variable frequency drive to be able to control the speed of the pump, we need to give an analog output signal, okay? From our DDC, then it will be an analog input signal from the BFD that it will receive a 0 to 10 volts DC, meaning from 0 to 10 volts, it will be corresponding to BFD 0 to 100% uh, hertz. Or if the pump is running at 50 hertz, so meaning 0 volts is equal to 0 hertz, then 10 volts will be equal to 50 hertz, okay? So if my controller 
uh, or may analog output module uh, gives five volts control output signal, then the pump will run half of the full, full speed. Let's say your RPM of the pump is 1000 RPM. When I give five volts control signal to the BFD, the, B, uh, the pump will run at 25 hertz, okay? So here, what is the name of that output point? That will be pump one, okay? Pump one, uh, speed. Uh, speed ref, okay, meaning speed reference. P1 reference. Okay, we have, uh, we have description, so there's no problem if we will try to abbreviate it because I don't want to type a very long DMS points name speed. Then, uh, B2, okay, then speed REF. Okay, so, tab, so P2 speed reference. Okay, then it will be connected to out two. We will use out two. Okay, another one I need for uh, I need for P3 speed ref. Tab. So this is P. The reference. Okay, now let's save it. Okay, I think I have still some points free in one of them. Okay, let me close this. I think in my UI 16, I still have some free slots or free channel. Okay, in channel, so I will create here the one of the speed reference. Okay, so voltage input. So P3 speed FB, okay. So that is uh, speed feedback, okay. Now maybe you will say, sir, why are you creating the points separately? Now there is no problem if you will connect it in different IO module. And as long as it is connected or this IO modules or this IO modules will be connected to uh, will be connected to the automation server. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, as you can see in my IO bus, there is uh, what we call this one a red thing in my AO8 because it's not yet connected in my IO bus itself. Okay. So I still have this AO8 here, okay? As you can see here, there are eight channels. So I can, I still have this one. I have not yet connected it to my system. Okay, later I will connect it when I will be doing the uh, demo of this system, okay? So let me connect it back here. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Now we already connected the uh, I mean, we already defined the BMS points or created the BMS points to our IO module. Now, what are we going to do? What will be the next step? Now, let me check my, okay. So control logic programming, okay. Now control logic programming, maybe it will be discussed in my next tutorial because here what I'm going to do first, uh, I want to uh, show you how to bind the points meaning from my graphics, okay? Then this graphics, I need to bind. When we say bind is we are like, uh, we have to give the uh, physical connection of this uh, point in my graphics where it will pull or get the information or the real time values, okay? So uh, as you know, we already defined the points in uh, let's say in our universal inputs or in our IO modules, then uh, like this one, uh, pump one hand of auto status. So where this uh, object will get the real time values, okay, from the field, okay. 
So first, we need to define or bind this point to our I/O module that we uh, where we created the BMS point. Then this I/O module where we created the BMS point, then the cable will be connected there, going to the physical point. If we will, if it will go to the control panel. So from graphics, okay, from graphics, it will be binded to the I/O module. Then the I/O module. There will be cable connected to it, and the other end of the cable will be connected to the control panel where the point is provided from the provided by the uh, control panel manufacturer. Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to do the bindings. Okay, so first let me go to the edit bindings. Okay, and I think we need to save this. Okay, so we can remove some of the tab. We don't need this, okay? So my guide, we can close my guide, okay? Then my automation server, let me close also this tab, okay? Now here is my binding, okay? So here, uh, we will try to look for the, uh, okay, so here are the points. P1 handoff auto status, okay? So P1 handoff, status okay so what i will do here i will go to the side of my window then i will go one up directory then now here i have my io bus so binding of bms points from the graphics or the object in the graphics from the graphics it will be binded to the io module where we define the points i hope it is clear now okay so this pump one hand of auto status i think i had created it in okay it's not here i think here okay here i have here pump one hand of auto status so from my ui8 dofc4 i created the points p1 hand of auto status so i need to this from graphics this is the points from graphics so this is the points from the io module so i had to bind to bind okay these two so that there will be bridge or there will be connection from each other, okay? So how are you going to bind? Just click, drag and drop, okay? So meaning, as you can see here, these points, from my graphics, binding point, B100 auto, it is binded or binding is from my IO bus, okay? This is IO bus from a system directory, then the IO bus, okay? So this is IO bus, then UI8, UI8, DOFC4, UI8, DFC4, then what is the point? P1 hand of auto status. So that is how you are going to do the binding. Okay. So that is binding. Okay. Now let's try to bind the other points. So P1 run hours. Okay. We don't have it yet because run hours will be generated by our control logic program. So we will bind it uh, from there, okay? So we have the run status, P1 run status. I have here P1 run status, okay, drop here. Speed reference, speed, okay, later we will bind that one. Let's just bind the, okay. So P2 hand of auto status, P2 hand of auto status. Then P2 run status, okay. Then we have here the P3 uh, hand of auto status, okay. Then uh, P3 run status, P3 run status. Okay. Now what else? Uh, trip status, we have the trip status. P3 trip status, we don't have the P3 trip status here. I think it is here. Okay, let's look for the trip. Okay, P3 trip, okay, it's here. Let's find it here. Then P2 trip, where is my P2 trip? Okay, it's there. Okay, P1 trip, where's my P1 trip? There are your P1 trip, okay, P1 trip is there, then this may P1 trip, okay. Now what else? What are the other points that I need to bind? Okay, speed feedback, okay, so I can bind also the speed feedback. I have here P1 speed feedback, so let's look for the P1 speed feedback, okay, it's here. P1 speed feedback, okay, P1 speed feedback, okay, so meaning... This point will get the points from this IO module UI8 A04. Okay. Now, okay. Okay. Now, speed reference. Okay. We can uh, speed reference later. Okay. Speed. Let's finish first the speed. Video. 
P2 is speed feedback. Okay, I will drop it here. Then P3, I don't have the P3. Okay, I don't have the P3 here. Okay. Where are the other points? Okay, maybe it's distributed all over the... Okay, I have here this P3 speed feedback. P3 speed feedback. Okay, oh, sorry. Uh, now the problem is power failure. Okay. Yes. Hello, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, okay, let me continue what I'm doing. Okay, so now what I want to do is to continue my binding, okay? Now, uh, let me check my binding here, okay? So what happened, uh, I've lose all the binding, so I have to repeat the binding because when I was doing it, then there was a power failure, okay? So, okay, then I, uh, maybe I will just show you how I will bind the graphics to the physical points or where the BMS graphic points will get the real-time value, okay? Now let me go to the side of my, uh, as you know, uh, this, uh, most of these BMS points will get the information from the uh, IO modules, okay? Now, okay, let us uh, repeat the, uh, the binding okay now okay so dpt value dpt value okay i have not created it now let me just create this uh, p1 hand of auto okay now let me see first let me get whatever points is available here so here i have the p3 uh, speed feedback p3 speed feedback where are you okay so p3 speed feedback okay it's here Okay, now I think that's the only point I included in this IO module. Okay, now let me go here in this IO module. Now I have most of the points here. I have the P1 hand of auto status. So let me start with the P1 hand of auto status. Where are you? Okay, here. P1 hand of auto status. Okay, here. Then P1 run status. Okay, run status. Now some of the software points, I will just show you how I'm going to bind it when I finish the control logic programming, okay? Now, uh, what else? Uh, P1, okay, P2 run status. Uh, let me come here. Uh, be able to see some. P2 hand up auto status, okay. P2 run status, okay. P2 run status, now maybe I can use also this for P2 flow, okay, then what else? P3, P3 and the power status. So what are what? P1 trip. I have P1 trip here. Do I have the trip here? I don't have the trip here. Okay, let me collapse this also. I have the P1 trip here. P1 trip. Then I have the P2 feedback status here. Okay, as you can see, uh, some of most of the points are scattered all over my IO modules. Okay, there, there's no problem with that one as long as you bind it properly. Okay, P2 trips. Okay. And do I have PTA trips here? Okay, P3 run is the P3 trip. Okay, where's my PT trip? Maybe let's go here. I have a PT trip here. Okay. Okay, P3 trip. P1 run is the P1 trip. P1 trip. Okay, P3 run is the first. Okay. Okay, then P2 speed feedback. I have the speed feedback. Let me go to the first page here. Okay. Uh, P2 speed feedback, where are you? P2 speed feedback, okay, P2 speed feedback, yeah, you are there, okay. Then P2, P1 speed feedback, where's P1 speed feedback, P1 speed feedback, okay. Now what else, P1 run hours, okay, I will not be, P1 run hours, okay. P1 flow, now I will use P1 flow, okay, let me go here. I have the, uh, here I have my what's it one? P1 run status. Okay, so I will use this P1 run status for my uh, I think the left here flow. What else do I need to P1 run hours? Okay, P1 speed reference. Now let, let's look for the P1 speed reference. It's now here. It should be here. Now that I think it's here. Okay. 
P1 speed reference, okay, P1 speed reference, okay. Then P2 speed reference, no? I already explained in my, uh, the earlier part of this tutorial that the, uh, why I have a red circle here because this analog output uh, module eight is not yet installed or connected to my IO bus. That's why, that is the reason why it has this. Okay, speed reference, okay. Now I have here the start the step command. Now enable, where do I connect it? I think it's here, okay, it's here. Then let's put this P3 start step command. Okay, then we can uh, P1 start step command. Okay, then what else? P3 step step command. P3, actually, this is the P, uh, enable. Okay, P2, P2, okay, so I'm binding most of the points now. Where's the run status? Okay, but I don't have the run status. P2 run status, I think here. P3 run status here. P1 run status, so I'm almost binded all these points in this page too. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to point uh, page one. So I want to complete P1 trip. Okay, P1 trip. Where is the trip? We have the trip here. Okay, this one is P1 trip. P1 trip, all right. P1. Why I have P1? This is P1 status. That's my P1 status. That is not correct. Okay, it should be this one. Okay. Then uh, what else? Uh, I have here. Okay, P two SS. Okay, here. Run hours. Okay, it will be binded to mine. Okay, P run run status. P three run status. Where are you? P three run status. P three run status. Where it is? P three run status. Okay, it's here. P3 flow, P300 auto, P300 auto, P300 status, P300 status, and what else? Okay. Now, what is not binded is the run hours. P3 run hour, P3 run hour. Okay, guys, uh, most of the points are binded now. No. Let, let's save it. Okay, then let me go back to my graphics, okay? Now, okay, let me zoom it a little. Okay, now here. Okay, now, uh, as I said, the points are already binded. As you go there and click it, or uh, hover the mouse over that point, it will change, okay? Like this one, so it will change from uh, pointing arrow to uh, pointing finger. If it is changes to uh, pointing finger, now you know that the point, the graphic point is already binded to the corresponding IO module, okay? Now this one, I have not yet binded this. Okay, this one also not yet binded. Uh, this is, again, this is another analog output. Okay, then this one is analog input. Okay, now as you can see here, as I said, as you when you see an X mark in your BMS points or graphic points, meaning uh, the IO module is not communicating. Okay, so it is very obvious. You will go to that IO bus, then look for the. Okay, let us check. Okay, uh, as you can see here, uh, this uh, analog output module is not yet online. Okay, because as I said. It is not yet connected to my system, okay? Now here, why this one is already, okay, okay. Then this one, why the color is changes, okay. Anyway, I will <clears throat> show you the completion of this uh, binding. Now the next step here is to do the uh, control logic programming, okay? So let me open the our guide in doing the uh, engineering of this uh, HBS equipment, okay? 
So, BMS points creation in IO module, then uh, BMS points in graphics uh, binding. Now, the next step is control logic programming. Okay. So, uh, in my next tutorial, I will be concentrating in a control logic program. Okay. Now, uh, at this, uh, for this tutorial, I will limit this to uh, BMS points definition, as I explained in the earlier part. Then uh, the this uh, okay. Let me wrap it up. This graphics I was able to create this graphics based on the IFC drawing instruction for construction drawings in mechanical specification. Okay. Now in that mechanical specification also you will be able to see the uh, equipment schedule. Then in that file also you will see the control logic uh, schematic, control schematic. Now based on that control schematic, I was able to design my own BMS graphics. How I'm going to represent based on that control schematic, this uh, HBS equipment, okay? So again, in this BMS, uh, in this BMS uh, graphics, we have three pumps, P1, P2, and P3. Now these pumps are controlled by variable frequency drive. Okay. Now variable frequency drive will play with the frequency of the pump so that it can control the uh, RPM of the pump. When you control the RPM of the pump, then you are controlling the flow being delivered by the pump. Okay. Now uh, how my control program will uh, control the flow or control the speed of the pump. Now. As you can see, I have here a differential pressure transmitter. Okay, so I will be monitoring the I will be monitoring the differential pressure transmitter reading. Okay, now based on this, I will be using one uh, controller uh, to be specific uh, PID controller. Okay, that I'm going to use to give the speed reference to my variable frequency drive for each pump. Okay. Now, based on the DPT reading, I will be having one set point, okay? Now, uh, the differential pressure across this load from the supply and the return, then I will be uh, using one set point value. Now, uh, who will give you the set point value? Now, of course, as a BMS engineer, you will always uh, coordinate with the mechanical engineer of the project okay now he will be the one to give you okay this will be the set point use this set point so that uh, the chilled water will reach the highest point of the chilled water line okay now let's say this is a uh, this load is a building okay let's say this load is a building uh, maybe this is a 10 story building okay now the supply the differential pressure across the supply and return line, uh, they will be the one to give you the value for the set point because they want to make sure that for this set point, the chilled water will reach the highest point of the chilled water piping, okay, or the chilled water line. Okay, so don't worry for the set point. You can always coordinate with the mechanical engineer of the project. Okay. Now, as I said, we will be using one uh, PID controller. To control the speed of the uh, pumps. Now, based on the sequence of operation, they said that uh, there will be two duty and one standby. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to design a simple control logic program that uh, two pumps will run and one is pump is standby. Maybe I can say, okay, uh, during initialization. I will run pump one and pump two, okay? Then when pump one trips, then that's the only time pump three will kick in, okay? Or uh, pump one and pump two will run, and when pump two fails, then pump three will uh, kick in, okay? Now, uh, this uh, kind of control logic programming is not yet very flexible, okay? Because uh, the standby pump will only run when there is an occurrence of trip, in P1 or P2, okay? So always P1 and P2 will run. Then when there is a problem, when in one the pumps that is running, that's the only time the standby will 
kicking. Okay, but that is not a flexible control logic program. At least we want to sequence these three pumps. Okay. Now, first I will create a simple one for the sake of the beginners. Then I will create another program for sequencing the three pumps. Okay. Okay. Now, what else is missing in this tutorial? Okay. Now I almost uh, binded all the my. Let me go back here. So I am almost binded my. Uh, graphics points okay now what is missing here is dpt value i have not created the dpt value okay that is an analog input let's see if we can see some okay now i will check open in i think the point open in new window okay let's see if we can create the points okay uh, edit in spreadsheet okay let's see if we still have okay now as you can see all the channels are already occupied okay so we cannot uh, add any more points or bms points in this io module now let me check this one we'll see if we can uh, is there a spare here okay there is a spare here this is a okay this is a universal input now i will create a dpt value so that i can show you how i'm going to bind it now here what is the type of the point that is a, a voltage input okay so I'm expecting from the differential pressure transmitter, I will be receiving zero to 10 volt signal, okay? So this one, I will name the name it to D, T, T, reading. As I said, we will always be using a unique uh, name for its uh, point uh, created in the IO module, okay? Let me give me the description for this one. This is differential. Pressure reading okay, or value, okay, that is in eight, uh, I8, channel 8, in 8. Okay, now let me bind, let me go back to my binding. Okay, as you can see, I have not binded this one. So, where did I create it? Okay, let's uh, refresh this one. Automation server, I bus, where did I create it? UI8, I think, uh, DOXC4. UI8, DOXC4, 8. Where are you? Uh, did I save it? No, I did not save it. I have to save it, okay, so that it will appear. Okay. Let us refresh it. Okay, always uh, save whatever it, okay, now this is the DPT value, okay. And let me show you, okay, save it also. Now let's go to the, okay. Now I have already here a reading, okay. So since there is no reading, it will give you some erroneous value. Okay? So DPT reading, I will change the, uh, the, that, the unit, we will change the unit. Okay, let's change the unit, it should not be bold. So I will change it to, what do you think is the unit of the differential pressure reading? Now we, maybe we can put it in a bar. Okay, maybe we can use bar. Bar, do I have bar here? No, we don't have bar. Okay, how about Pascal? Do we have Pascal here? Let's go to pressure. Uh, no, first we have to go to pressure, okay? We have here Pascal, uh, PSI, okay. The, uh, we, we only have here Pascal, okay? So let's use Pascal. We have also Newton per meter squared, so but let's use Pascal, okay? As you can see, it is already changed to Pascal. Close. Okay. Refresh. Okay. Okay. Anyway, it will show the it will show the unit later on. Okay. Okay. Now the time. Another point that I need to create is the uh, common header supply temperature. Okay. So I need to, as you can see, this not yet binded. Now let me go to my here. Let's see if there are some vacant. Okay, editing, uh, I think that would work as well. Editing spreadsheet. We'll see if we still have. Okay, so these are also all occupied. This one also all occupied. Okay, so I think we need to. Uh, 
are occupied already. Okay, so I need to create one empty. Okay, uh, cooling bulb output. Okay, now I have used everything here. Maybe I can change something so that our okay, what uh, is that? Uh -huh. hmm. <clears throat> okay, now later I will try to add, or else we can add another. Okay, let's see if we can. No, but uh, I need to change. Let's say this fire alarm. I need to change this to uh, this so that I can give you the <clears throat> letter. I will do it. Okay. Now uh, I think uh, this will be enough for this tutorial. Uh, what I have done is uh, let me go to the guide. Okay. So this is open in the window. So I want to wrap it up. Okay, BMS points definition from drawing or mechanical representation so that you will be able to come up with the BMS graphics. Okay, then the, uh, the points, uh, actual points definition like digital input, digital output, analog inputs, or analog output so that you can uh, define or create the points in your IO modules. Okay. Then BMS graphics, you create the BMS graphics. Then after that, uh, the bindings of the points. Now controller and IO module selection. Controller and IO module selection. Uh, you will select one controller if you are going to use a controller that has an extension of IO module. But this time I'm using an automation server where I can connect 10 IO modules, okay? So uh, I'm using this automation server, but if you are going to use a backnet controller, then you have to select uh, <coughs> a backnet controller that has uh, four analog output, four digital output, then around maybe uh, 16 universal inputs, okay? So that controller can control this chilled water pump uh, equipment, okay? Then the last part of this will be the control logic programming. So control logic programming, as I said, I will be creating one simple program just to show you how this simple program will control these three points, okay? Then we will try to play with the differential pressure reading. Then we will try to play with the temperature, uh, common header temperature, supply temperature. We will see the response of the uh, motorized bulb, okay? So let me show you my, where is this one? Okay. So based on my control logic program, we will see uh, how this uh, motor control bulb will respond to the temperature and maybe we will be able to relate it to the differential pressure reading, okay? Then how these pumps will vary its speed to vary the flow based on the differential pressure reading, okay? Then how this standby pump Okay, uh, the sequence of operation is two pumps duty, one standby. So we will see also that when there is a trip in pump one, we will see if pump three will kick in. Then when someone reset the alarm, then again pump two, pump one will uh, kick in, then pump three will stop. Okay, so we will be able to see how also these pumps will uh, work when one pump trips, then the standby will come online, okay? So I guess, uh, guys, uh, I have given you the uh, enough information from BMS points creation or uh, data points creation, controller selection, uh, BMS graphics creation, then BMS graphics points uh, bindings, uh, BMS points creation in IO modules, then I gave you an idea how our control logic program will try to uh, control this uh, HBS equipment, which is our chilled water pump in ETS room, okay? So once again, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I guess uh, I've given you uh, 
uh, information, especially to the new engineers who are wishing to be part of the building management system or building automation. Uh, if you are also planning to join the MEP company, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing company, this tutorial will give you an idea or this tutorial will prep you up if you will be a part of a MEP company. What I'm trying to teach you here, if I will be able, if God is willing, if I will be able to complete this uh, entire tutorial, a new engineer, mechanical or electrical, he will have a complete idea what are being done in an MEP company. Okay, so once again, thank you very much. And Santos Capilan is always saying, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And you can also click the notification bell. And once again, Santos Capilan Jr. saying, God bless us all. And bye for now.